Our sixth inductee is Dave Livermore. Dave was a two-time team MVP and four-year member of the men's golf team from 1996 to 2000. As a junior, he became the first Mustang to qualify for the ECAC championship, while as a senior, he posted a 79.1 stroke average. The first thing that comes to my mind with David was when we went to Susquehanna, and he says, if I shoot over 90, you can shoot me. And Bill, the other boy on the team said, go ahead and shoot him, coach. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, because he never thought he would shoot that bad in college. But it comes to realization that college is not easy in any sport. He did have a lasting effect because of the way he handled himself. Even though he was a freshman my year, he was mature as a freshman. He handled himself on the court with the values that I, that I want. And I think that was good. Uh, we had a great relationship. We got along good. Uh, we carried on, but we, but we were serious about the game. And I think that's what it is. You have, to, you have to have that balancing act. You know, you gotta balance the competition with attitude. If I recruited guys like David, then I knew we would have a great program. And that's what I've done every year now. Uh, but he was the leader of that. Uh, you got to have good golf players who understand the game, uh, course, course management, club management. He had it. He had it. Uh, so that really helped me. For me as a coach, he is my benchmark. I look at my recruits. I want them to be like him. Uh, you know, there's no doubt. I want them to be successful. I want them to get good grades. I want them to get a career. And then I want them to come back to the school. I wanted a good environment. I want him to have a good, re uh, a good experience. I mean, he's a true student athlete, and uh, that helped. That helped a tremendous amount. Uh, where he was able to handle the situation, being a freshman, and then going into his senior year uh, and graduating on time. Uh, so his athletic ability and his academic drive, his motivation to earn a degree and perform on the on the golf course. From the class of 2001, it is my honor to welcome Dave Livermore into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Um, I'm extremely honored to be selected to the Stevenson University Hall of Fame. Those pictures were amazing. <laughs> um, it's, this is my first time back on campus since I graduated, and I am extremely blown away as to where Stevenson University has, has grown to and what it is today. Um, I know Coach Adams and Coach Raymer had a really hard time getting hold of me. It took a while for that, that phone call, but I was definitely shocked uh, when they did call me. So, um, Coach Adams took us on a, a tour today of the facilities, and they are absolutely amazing. Um, it was kind of weird sitting at the stadium today watching the football game thinking that used to be the Colts training facility and there was the Ravens training facility and it's our facility. But that guy back there, my brother, used to sit in the woods behind the field goals and catch footballs and steal them while the Colts were <laughs> practicing during training camp. <laughs> so to be sitting up there thinking that my, little bro my older brother was up there was pretty wild. <laughs> Um, even though I haven't been on, on campus in almost 20 years now, um, I was getting definitely a lot of updates on the college. Uh, my mom kept me updated whenever, when the uh, school bought the football facility, uh, when they got the women's ice hockey team. I, I actually got a newspaper clipping from my mom uh, about the women's hockey team. See, my mom's from upstate New York, and ice hockey is in her blood. So, um, and I played hockey in high school, so she definitely had to keep me posted on all those news, on all that news. Um, Next thing I have to apologize to Coach Raymer. Uh, freshman year, we were really bad. <laughs> um, 
freshman year, we he watched a lot of really bad golf. I would say we were probably more like a, the group of Caddyshack from Caddyshack than we were a golf team. We were it was pretty ugly. Um, and coach Coach Raymer was I would say was probably like Ronnie Dangerfield from Caddyshack. <laughs> you could hear him. You could actually like picture him saying, "Hey, you scratch my anchor." <laughs> um, Freshman year, we didn't have golf shirts. We were just told to go out and buy golf shirts, buy a green golf shirt, and that's all we had. Uh, we didn't have enough golf bags for the entire golf team, so some of us had them, some of us didn't. Um, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing because the, the golf shirts that we had were pretty ugly. <laughs> I think they're a lot better now. So some of it was actually like everybody was happy to, to not have a golf bag at that point um, because they weren't necessarily the best looking, but. We were happy to be out on the golf course. Um, we had a lot of fun out on the golf course uh, with the crew that we had, the van rides and everything that we did. It was, we had a blast. Um, freshman year though, we would show up to tournaments and we got absolutely zero respect. Um, McDaniel College, now Western, or Western Maryland College, now McDaniel College, or your college, and some of the other colleges didn't respect us whatsoever. Um, they definitely thought that they were all better than us. Um, that's all started to change, I'd say, my junior and senior year. Um, the whole team as all together, individually and as a team, we all started to play better. And all of a sudden, uh, we went from being finishing last to where we had, we were in the top five. We were top five to top three, and we started to turn that whole thing around. And they actually started to respect us, and they had to think about us when it came to turning both on the, as a team-wise, and also when it came to our individual scores as to who was going to, um, who was going to be in that top five or top ten as an individual. Uh, it really started to change. We had some other folks, uh, my buddy Lance from Calvert Hall, uh, he came my junior year, um, and everybody really started to come together and get the program going. And we had an absolute blast. I truly miss those van rides to the tournaments. We had a, a ball. Um, and the entire way, Coach Raymer and Coach Allen, uh, Coach Raymer was my coach freshman year and senior year, and then Coach Allen, my uh, sophomore and junior year, they were there the entire way, supporting us 100% and pushing us and wanting us to keep on getting better. So thank you very much, Coach Raymer. Um, there are three people uh, I would definitely like to thank, two of which are here tonight, both uh, my mom and my brother. Uh, unfortunately, my dad passed away nine years ago and can't be here today. Um, but both my mom and dad, they supported me 100% in everything that I did. Whether it was golf, they drove me to golf tournaments, wherever they were. Uh, they took, drove me up to the ECACs when I qualified for that. Um, and then, or if it was ice hockey practice at 5 a.m. Didn't matter what it was, they were there 100% of the time. And then my older brother, uh, he introduced me to the game. He taught me everything about the game uh, and a lot about the game. Uh, I always wanted to beat him on the golf course. He's six years older than me, so I was definitely always trying to just keep up with him. Um, he's the best big brother you could ever ask for. Um, one quick story from the ECAC is when I qualified for that. Um, my parents came to a lot of tournaments, but there was really one rule that I had on the golf course when they, they came. I, I loved them to come to the golf tournaments, but I didn't like them being close, so they always had to stay at least a half a hole ahead of me. They couldn't be like right next to me at all. Um, at the ECACs when I qualified, I'm on the 16th hole and I was playing pretty well and all of a sudden I look up and my dad's walking around with Coach Allen and he's on the tee box on the 16th hole with us. I don't say anything right away, and I just kind of hit my tee shot and I, I look up at him afterwards and I just give him that look and he just ends up, he knows what that look was and he just slowly walks away. All he ever wanted to do was be right there with us the entire time. So uh, that was just one of those classic stories of my dad just always wanting to be there, uh, be a part of everything, and wanted to share that story. Um, to be here today is truly an honor to see where the university is, to see where the athletic department is, and also see where the go golf program has uh, come to now. It definitely makes me proud to be a part of the, both the beginning of the program, building of the program, and also to be an alumni of Stevenson Uni University. So thank you very much.